Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I hope that everyone is staying safe and sound and that everyone is ready to learn something new today. But first, if you like what you see, give me a big thumbs up. It really helps with the YouTube algorithm. Hit that bell notification so you know my videos come out. Generally between uh, 3 and 4, this is a family friendly channel. And please, do me a favor. If you like my videos or you like my channel, or you just like me, do me a favor and subscribe to my channel. And if you want to take it one step further, you can donate money to my channel at any time through the thanks button, and it would be greatly appreciated. So uh, this is the perfect video for me right now because I am actually going to be starting my own online class next month so here's the situation I'm not I haven't gone back to school yet because they have no students uh, my private student is moving to further out to Long Island so we cannot study in person so we're going to I'm going to be starting an online class hence distance learning next month so if anyone is interested uh, let me know and we'll take it from there Okay, so World Distance Learning Day, that's today. <clears throat> World Distance Learning on August 31st is a day to embrace the learning that takes place outside of the physical classroom. With, whether it is a remote learning program that is delivered entirely at a distance or a hybrid blend of in-class and at-home learning, the added flexibility and often more cost-effective option of distance learning is benefiting more students around the world than ever before. So don't have to drive and with the price of gas. That's one thing you save. In recent times, the internet and the resulting surge of high quality online curriculum and courses have completely transformed traditional education methods and given birth to the popular distance learning movement. So also because of the you know, the COVID situation, uh, you know, a lot of uh, learning was remote. With that in mind, today is a day to be thankful for the distance learning opportunities we have and the countless resources that are available to use. Yeah, so you have all these um, um, apps that you can like Zoom and Google Meet and all those other stuff that you can actually use to actually, you know, communicate or with other people um, do the video, I guess. History of World Distance Learning Day. Learning facilities haven't always been a few clicks away. Back in 1728, Caleb Wilson, uh, Phillips, excuse me, was advertising his teaching on a new method of shorthand in the Boston Gazette with the lessons to be delivered via mail on a weekly basis. Wow. So Isaac Pittman took the idea one step further in England in the 1840s. He was also teaching shorthand via mail, but his students would send him a postcard containing their own efforts, which he would correct and send back to them. Pittman's course swelled in popularity within a few years. The Phonographic Correspondence Society was established to formalize the courses on offer. The society led to colleges, and by 1873, the first correspondence school to operate in the U.S. was founded. Universities began offering distance learning options, and the idea was driven forward by the Open University in the 1960s. They offered a respectable alternative to traditional learning methods and have been at the forefront of developing new technologies and teaching methods ever since their inception. The internet revolutionized distance learning, making it easier, faster, and cheaper for students to learn. The first completely online course arrived in 1984, and both the resources available online and the number of students taking part have developed at a rapid pace ever since. The COVID-19 pandemic in 2020 led to widespread school core closures, which in turn meant that more students than ever turned to distance learning. Many students are still doing distance learning because uh, it's more convenient for them than having to travel. 
World Distance Learning Day was established to raise awareness on the learning resources and options available to students and to celebrate how far the concept of distance learning education has advanced over the years. Okay, so the timeline, uh, the first ever shorthand course in 1728, uh, the Open University established in 1969. Uh, the first uh, online course in Toronto in 1984. And of course, closures because of COVID in 2020. So I just thought that that would be uh, very apropos for my uh, video today because, like I said, I'm doing that. Again, if you like what you see, give me a big thumbs up. It really helps with the YouTube algorithm. Trust me, it really does. Hit that bell notification so you know my videos come out. Like I said, this is a family-friendly channel. So generally between three and four. You know, I try to keep it pretty consistent. And please, if you like my videos or you like my channel or you just like me, okay, please do me a favor and subscribe. You will not find another channel like mine. I've, I've searched. You know, mine is the only one who does food, language, and culture. Everyone else does entertainment and all other stuff. No, my channel is unique, and that's what I love about it because it's, it's unique. And like I said, if you want to support me, you can do so at any time through the thanks button. You can donate anywhere from, I think, $2 and up. It would be greatly appreciated since I'm um, still not working right now because there's no students at the, my um, in school. Okay, Online, I have a few students, or I'm going to have a few students the next month. So if you're interested in studying um, ESL online, okay, you know, hit me up in the comments and let me know, and then we'll take it from there. Like I said, it's going to start... Uh, next month, uh, maybe next week, or, or you know, I'm going to try like a hybrid class. I'm going to do in line, uh, online one class and uh, in-person class. I'm going to start that first for my student. But then once my student moves to way out in Long Island, it's only going to be um, virtual, only online. So if you want to study, um, let me know and... We'll take it from there. I thank you. Stay safe. Enjoy this beautiful weather. And I will see you soon.